Aloha, my love. Everybody agrees that our mental and physical health could tremendously benefit from daily laughing. It is scientifically proved that laughing could improve our immune system, increase serotonin and endorphins in our brains, relax muscle, and ease the tension in our bodies. Heaps of other benefits you can find online. But turning daily laughing into something very natural as a lifestyle is not something very easy. My friends often said, "Hey, Cici, you are too funny," and people always want to have me in most of the picnics or parties or social meetings only because I can give them so much laughter. So here are five ways that I personally apply on my daily basis to make myself really laugh and also be really funny to other people. Authentic laughing will truly improve our mental health, which is significantly important for self-love. Number one, make fun of myself. Of course, for only myself in daily activities. When I comb my hair, I say to myself, "Wow, look! I still have hairs all over my head to comb. How lucky I am!" You don't feel funny? Or who cares? That would make me laugh a lot, and this is what I learned from Frank Sitcom. You may ask me, I don't have any sense of humor. I can never laugh at any jokes made by me. Then let's jump into number two. Number two, watch comedy sitcoms. I am a big fan of Friends. The sitcom makes me laugh out loud only for like 10 or 20 minutes per day, and this is really my daily entertaining time. And besides the fact that I can laugh on my own, there are heaps of funny words and phrases I could use to make my friends and family laugh later. Instead of seeing news, which is sometimes very stressful, I have all rights to choose comedy sitcoms or TV programs or comedian shows, in which people are sharing knowledge or even discussing about politics, but in very funny perspectives. Our brain is amazing. We could always change our life through creating new habits. And yet,、yeah, the good news is, sense of humor is something very genetic, but also can be mastered by practice. Number three, make at least one person laugh every day. There is a belief in Tibetan Buddhism that when you give somebody something, the universe is giving you back the same thing. I believe in this 100% because it happens all the time in my life. This is an interacting process that you can laugh so much, and then you can use the same jokes to make others laugh too. And then again, because of that good actions, which are called good karmas, you will be paid back with chances to laugh more and more in future. This interacting process is happening like the operation of perpetual mobile. You can also double check this、um, theory before taking any actions by reading the books, The Diamond Cutter. Or karmic management by Michael Roach, an American non-traditional teacher of Tibetan Buddhism, and those two books are so popular all over the world. Number four, practice mindfulness. 
I know some of my friends who are worth、uh, spiritual practice, trying to keep themselves away from being too fun. They say that being too fun can take away their awareness. I need to respectfully disagree. I am choosing to be ready and open to anything coming into my life. At the same time, I will stick to mindfulness practicing. With mindful breathing, I can keep myself very well aware of what's exactly going on inside me and outside me. That is when I can enjoy to the best every happy moment of my life without any attachment. We awaken from both sufferings and happiness. The case is that we don't have the mindset of pushing away our sufferings or wanting more of happiness. Number five, have daily funny journals. I know journaling is such a therapy in everything, especially gratitude journaling. Adding into this wonderful positive thinking practice, a funny journal could help to bring the funny things back to you again and again. It helps to create a habit to see things in a happier and more relaxing perspective. There you go. Those are five things you could do to be very humorous in future. Humorous. Can bring people closer to each other, and of course, if you joke with mindfulness, and be sure that you are not hurting yourself or any other persons. That's all about my five secret things to turn me into a very funny girl that could light up somebody's day when I'm with them. But the most important thing is that I could always brighten up my mood in gray days. Whatever silly I may look, 
Love indeed helped me immensely during my difficult times and is still helping me to boost my mental and physical health even in normal days. This is like investing a long-term savings for the good life. I hope that you will take action soon for a new habit of laughing daily. You are born to enjoy, so go for it. Being silly for the first drive is all fine because you know that by laughing, you are taking care of yourself. That is one amazing self-love practice. Thank you for today. I love you. And we catch up again soon in my next video.